Hey, Dr. Brian Anderson here. I hope that you are doing well. Today, we're gonna to be going over uh, low-dose testosterone treatment. And uh, we see a lot of patients that are coming in with questions about low-dose uh, testosterone treatment. Maybe they're, they're receiving um, testosterone from their primary care physician, or maybe an endocrinologist, or maybe a hormone specialist, um, or a longevity clinic, which is, which is what we do, obviously. So um, one of the things I'd like to talk about is why super low-dose testosterone replacement may not be a good idea. And again, before stopping or starting any medical treatment, talk to your provider, right? So, but one of the things we're seeing is patients that are coming in on these really low doses from other offices, they feel terrible. Um, and, and some of them are even saying they feel worse on TRT than when they started. And that, that's not the goal, right? So we wanna optimize our health. Uh, we wanna support our brain health. Uh, we want to support uh, sexual function, muscle mass, all those fun things. So those are very important. Form and function are interrelated, and we definitely want to support our 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 structures and both our brain and our body. So uh, one of the one of the way that testosterone replacement works is that there's there's a, a starting level that's very low, and we're replacing that level uh, to a level that's physiologic and that the body is made before and stimulating those receptor sites and, and, and that, that's how that works. Um, one of the things we're, we're seeing, as I had mentioned, is very low dose testosterone replacement. And, and so patients are being prescribed lower dosages of testosterone than what their body was producing. And basically that is similar to birth control. We're giving these, we're giving these very small amounts of hormone it's actually shutting down the body's production of testosterone, which is not what, you know, that, that, that's, that's one of the things that happens with, with replacement, um, especially with age. And uh, there are ways to mitigate that, obviously. Uh, but uh, when you're on really low dose testosterone like that, um, it can make the testosterone level actually go down from, from even when it was low. And so we don't, I typically do not recommend super low dose testosterone replacement. And so the next question, right, is, well, what is low dose? And so uh, that can vary depending on the baseline level of testosterone that the body's producing. It can depend if you're uh, male or female, and uh, males make about 20 times more testosterone than females in general. Um, it can depend on how uh, much you exercise, your activity level. So if you're, if you're exercising, you're, you're walking, what have you, you're actually using testosterone. And so if you have higher levels of activity, you may metabolize more testosterone. It can also depend on liver function, uh, a whole host of things. So it's important to speak with a uh, physician that understands uh, the intricacies of TRT or testosterone replacement therapy and, and how to do it based on, based on your body type. And, um, uh, quite frankly, um, the, a lot of the, the questions and patients that we're seeing aren't, aren't, they're coming in from other places that aren't doing so well. They're like, Hey, this is, this is supposed to be life changing. Like what's going on here. And quite uh, often we see these super low doses and, in that case, you know, uh, it's almost better uh, not to start testosterone replacement if you were not going to uh, supplement the level to to a regular, at least a regular endogenous level um, that was uh, seen previously or that you may have produced before. So um, anyway, that's my that's my two cents on uh, low dose testosterone replacement. Um, it's, it's really important also to get your levels checked after you start. And uh, we're seeing that as well, that, that some patients aren't having that follow-up. Um, you know, maybe they're, they're talking to um, purely an online testosterone replacement kind of center. And it's really important to get a comprehensive evaluation, physical exam, re regular lab work. I mean, and, and, and obviously check in with yourself. Like, how do you feel? How do you look? Um, and, and really try to be as objective as you can. So um, anyway, if you like the content here, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate that. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, comment below. Be happy to answer those for you. But uh, until next time, signing off, Dr. Brian Anderson.